my whole childhood. I wanted to be a cowboy at the St. Joe Stockyards. Losing it, that's, that's a big hunk of history. This was where we brought our calves every year. Farmers coming in and they go to stores and shop. It really brought in a lot of money for the city. I asked Mark if I could sell at the last sale. It's intense, you know, hands flying here, there. Everyone's hollering. There wasn't an empty seat to be anywhere. It was really neat to see how the stockyards was, you know, back in the day on a weekly basis. There's a lot that went on in these cities that were along the railroad hubs, and it happens to coincide with collection spots for livestock. The packing business essentially was built around the success of the stockyards across the country. It changed the way that Americans eat. Terminal River Market for all along the Missouri River. That was the, the final destination for finished out hogs, finished out cattle, finished out sheep. Omaha, Sioux City, Sioux Falls, Kansas City, St. Joe. Everything lined up with those stockyards. I didn't tell my father until that, until the next Thursday. I just couldn't tell him that I sold it. So it's just a, it's a tough decision. It's painful to see an empty arena, chairs with nobody sitting in them. It's sad to know that that won't be a place that farmers and ranchers are able to bring their stock anymore. Firms have gotten bigger, so they have more animals to sell. So we have less of the smaller trailer hauling animals to where there's a bigger trailer. That's consolidated the numbers in really some very small areas of the country. Let's say you want to build a new livestock market in this day and age, it would be rather difficult. You run into problems with either the smell or maybe the manure removal. You're going to run into these little uh, new laws and regulations. Over the years, things get tougher for the livestock business to be located within a city. Just recently, there was a barn that closed in Madeira due to development. We're a major food producer for the world. The number of operations here in the U.S. will probably continue to shrink and the average size of those that are left will continue to grow. I think in time it'll be as significant as the Pony Express. People will see Stockyards Expressway and there's no stockyards anymore, but they'll remember.